Waddle, great strike by Tonga by Lowe. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. What's up, Dolphins? This is Dolphins Today from the Baptist Health Studios here in Miami Gardens. I'm Kimberly Bell, a.k.a. Kimmy B. Now, the 2022 NFL Draft is now in the rearview mirror, and the Dolphins stayed put with their four scheduled picks over the weekend. With the 102nd overall pick, Miami selected linebacker Channing Tindall out of Georgia and then picked wide receiver Eric Azukama out of Texas Tech with the 125th overall pick. And guess what? They wasted no time getting down to Miami. In fact, here's a look at their very first day with the Miami Dolphins. What do you feel about coming back to Miami and playing for and being a Dolphin? Man, that would be wonderful. Well, hey, man, hey, we're on the clock. We're going to make you a Dolphin, okay? I appreciate that, Coach. Thank you. Eric. Hi, Coach. Oh, I hear some screaming. Um, you, uh, we, we just toned down the room. We were screaming ourselves, hoping you'd be here, man. We were fired up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach. All right. Love it. You did so good. All right, ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. It's it good, high. though. It, it was good, though. It's good. Yeah, I told I like, you. It, yeah, it got like a chocolatey <laughs> type of feel to it. You did. Really good. I'm drawing the Miami Dolphins logo. If I put some like orange and, and teal on this thing, you know, like it looks a lot better. But yeah, I think I didn't look around the room at all. Channing, welcome in, man. Hey, how you doing today? We're, we're very good, man. Excited to have you in. Uh, I know it's been a long day, but we're happy to have you here on the podcast. And uh, you know, first of all, welcome to Miami. You got the call last night, get here today. How's it feel? You taking it all in yet? Oh, yes. Yeah, just a surreal uh, feeling, honestly, just getting that call and being here literally the next day and then meeting everybody here. Everybody's so nice. Just a great feeling. I can't really explain it. How you feeling? Has it all hit you yet? Man, I'm just taking it, you know, step by step and just letting it all sink in. And, and it's, it's very over, overwhelming. But, you know, I feel like once I get some time, I'll really just let it all and take it all in. Clearly an extremely exciting time for these two young men. And Chris Greer and Mike McDaniel were also pumped to add them to the organization. In fact, let's take a listen to what they had to say as they wrapped up their first draft together. In terms of, of Channing, uh, he was a player that we had been targeting throughout the process. We met with him in Indy um, and really enjoyed our time with him, brought him down here on a 30 visit, spent a lot of time with him here as well. and. Um, and just for us, it's the versatility, uh, the speed is what we like. You know, he can play, he has the ability to play all three downs and play special teams as well. And uh, and talking to Kirby uh, Smart um, the other day again about him, um, he was just talking about what tremendous, uh, the speed and toughness and, and the character of the kid and how Kirby really loved and thinks he's going to be a really good uh, player in the NFL. So uh, we're really excited to get him. You can really dictate, um, the, the the toughness and physicality of a team um, with how guys go about their b business. That's one unique thing I think we have um, is, is that however fast they are, all of our receivers compete and play tough. And that's um, uh, watching Eric do something similar in a completely different body type. Um, it was exciting to watch him play. And I think he fits kind of the energy and uh, – and, and the skill level that we're looking for. We want guys to be fast or play fast um, and, and doing both with a decisiveness and, and, and a team first uh, passion that he, he, he bleeds. So excited at, at him. That was, that was the biggest thing I saw a football player playing the receiver position. Of course, it's always nice to see these young men realize their dreams and somebody else who's living the dream, our boy Travis Wingfield, reporting on all things Dolphin. So we welcome him now into the studio to give us a little bit more insight on these two guys. Now, Trav, you've had the chance to meet them already here in the building, which is exciting. Now, starting with Tyndall, what stands out the most to you about him? Yeah, really cool to get a chance to meet those guys, the free agents all year long. And, mm -hmm. you know, the theme in all these players the Dolphins have brought in this year is that they're all so easy to talk yeah. to. And that makes our job so much easier. And, you know, his tape really had me kind of jumping out of my chair, getting a chance to watch mm -hmm. it over the weekend. Explosive, the range that he displays, and had a really, really impressive blitz reel at Georgia, getting after the quarterback from multiple positions. And he played the most snaps and had the best, really, games of his entire career 
during Georgia's championship run, SEC title game, Orange Bowl, national championship game, when the games mattered the most, he was at his best. Well, you used a lot of great adjectives to describe him, and it sounds like there's a lot of upside. Plus, the Twitterverse was losing it when we got him with our first pick of the draft. They were like, hey, this is huge for them. They basically got a major steal, so I'm always here for that. All right, so now to the other side of the ball. What about Azukama? It seems like he's got a nice blend of speed and size, so what excites you there? Yeah, I like going back to what Coach McDaniel said in his post-draft presser that he's a football player playing the wide receiver position. Mm. He's a, a big-time wideout, physical, hulking player who plays even bigger than his frame. Long arms, good leaping ability, excellent catch radius too. Tough at the catch point with really strong hands. And the McDaniel thing I think he's talking about a little bit there, mm -hmm. he blocks in the running game, which you know he'll love to see. And he also loves the rack ability, which 7.8 yards after the catch mm -hmm. on average last year was 16th in college football. Okay, so again, great descriptor words to describe this young man and a receiver that likes to block for the running game. It's right up McDaniel's alley, right? <laughs> That's I mean, a win all the way around. Perfect. So thank you, Trap, for the breakdown. Now we know it's been a long weekend. You've had a lot going on. You've been meeting with the players. So we're going to need you to come back for our next episode of Dolphins Today to break down the rest of our draft picks. I'm talking about Cameron Good and Skylar Thompson, okay? Hey, go out to the Pac-12 for Cameron Good. I'm looking forward to it. Happy to do it. Love it. All right, now, Dolphins, it's time to get into a cheerful mood. What do you say? The Miami Dolphins cheerleaders recently capped two weeks worth of cheerleading auditions to whittle down its squad to 32 talented dancers for the 2022 training camp team. Now, over the course of auditions, South Florida wasn't the only area being represented. In fact, we saw elite level cheerleaders from New York, California, Texas, and even Utah hoping for an opportunity to represent the Dolphins on the sidelines and in the community this season. Now, among the aforementioned 32 dancers, 15 of them will be new rookie candidates excited to bring flair and fun to get another Dolphin season. We'll be sure to share more with you about this year's cheerleading squad as the 2022 season draws near. Congratulations to each contestant and, of course, everyone involved. All right, so that's all we got for this edition of Dolphins today. As always, thank you for tuning in. And next episode, we will dive into the rest of our draft picks and gear up for the Formula One Miami Grand Prix. We'll see you soon.